Did you know you can track your download targets or OKRs in Looker Studio and get the data automatically from the App Store and Google Play? Yes, it is possible, and I'm going to show you how on this video. Hello, if you don't know me, I'm Homolo. I'm the founder of Easy App Reports. And what we do is the thing that we're looking at right here. So we enable app companies to bring their data from the App Store and Google Play to get better insights and track their growth. So let's dive into it. What we have here is a combined view. So let's say in your case, maybe you have an app on the App Store, but also on Google Play. And then in these cases, it's common to have different targets, right? Because maybe uh, your market's bigger uh, in one platform than the other, and then you want to track those stores individually. And that's what we have here precisely. So for example, on the left side, I have my targets from Google Play. And you can see here on this view, I chose to have a cumulative view, right? Which is interesting because then I can see how am I doing on this quarter. So I can see uh, the dark orange line is January 2024 and also February. And then we have the light gray line, which is the previous quarter. So this is really cool for two reasons. First, I'm trying to get to the green line, which is my target, right? Here, so it's like 130,000 installs for this quarter. But I can also see how I was doing on the previous quarter. So like in this case, for example, it looks like I'm on target to reaching 130,000 by the end of the quarter. But not only that, I'm also ahead comparing to Q4 2023. So that's really interesting. And then we also have a table here with your daily metrics. Uh, you can even export this to a CSV so you can play around with this data a little bit more. Now let's jump to the right side here. We have the same thing, but then it's for the App Store. So here we are tracking app units from the App Store Connect Trends report. And then you can see here, again, I'm doing much, much better than previous quarter. And this, this is interesting, right? Because you can see, so it's around the end of January, I had a lot of growth, right? So probably now I want to look at my traffic sources to see where this is coming from, and maybe I can push this even further. Guys, so this is a version with, like I said, a cumulative view, but also sometimes you do wanna track this data daily. And by the way, this is all dummy data. So if it looks a bit strange, uh, that's why. So again, same thing, left side, quarter over quarter, dark orange this quarter, light orange last quarter. And you can see day by day here, I'm setting my target as uh, 1500. So I could also just to make people who read this more informed, I could also do this. And that's easier for them to understand. And then the same for the App Store, right? And then again, you can also then export this data. What if you want to track a different metrics? Because some people, they want to look at star listings on Google Play. They want to see, I don't know, maybe total downloads for the App Store and not App Units. This is also possible. I'm going to show in another video how to do that. But anyway, this template is available on our platform. Uh, if you sign up, then you can connect your Google Play account, your App Store Connect. And there's going to be a section there called Magic Templates. And this is one of them. This is kind of a general one. You can see it's the free to use uh, apps template. Uh, but then we also have a dedicated template only with download tracking. Okay, it could also be, by the way, could be revenue, could be redownloads, could be updates, could be uh, ratings, could be wherever you want. That's the beauty of using Easy App Reports is that you have control over all those different metrics uh, and dimensions. Maybe you want to look just at a specific market. So for example, maybe I'm responsible for their Americas only or for Europe only. With this, I could add a filter here and just see the data for the country that I care about, for example, or maybe filter this by by App Store search, so I can only see organic traffic, or maybe I can filter this by uh, product page from the App Store because I can see traffic from Asa, let's say. So, so those are all the things uh, that we can do. Uh, if you're curious, go to easyappreports.com and sign up so you see for yourself. So that was it for today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.